Hey guys, AJ here. Star date 012924. Let's beam on down to the subject of the video. An animated tour of the USS Vortex, a diminutive Sparrow class starship I imagine existed during Star Trek the original series. Fans know Star Trek followed Captain Kirk and a crew of over 400 on a five year mission aboard a ship of 20 plus decks. In contrast, the Vortex boasts a crew of 45 and conducts short range science missions. It stands four decks tall, coming in at 64 feet in height, 108 feet in width, and 243 feet in length. The Sparrow class is a work in progress. I'm learning 3D modeling and animation mostly with YouTube videos, so hopefully, quality will improve over time. I plan to share a completed exterior model for 3D printing. I also plan to tell some track tales aboard the Vortex, but more on that another day. This compact yet fast and maneuverable science vessel is inspired by Daedalus, Pioneer, and Constitution class starships. I envision the Sparrow as a forerunner to later science vessels, sort of a proto Nova class. The Sparrow class might serve other mission profiles such as supply or express courier diplomatic transport or covert surveillance vessel. I imagine the scale and simplified systems of this class could make retired versions ideal for training, perhaps for cadets at the academy. The captain and four senior officers enjoy private quarters and bathrooms. The remaining 40 crew members share quarters and communal bathrooms primarily on deck two. The ship is equipped with multiple science labs, a recreation and mess hall, six eight-person escape pods, nine phaser banks, a shuttle bay and a single class F shuttlecraft, tractor beam emitters forward and aft, a pair of four-person transporter rooms and a cargo transporter. Main engineering occupies all four decks amidship accessible via adjacent Jeffries tubes. The crew of 45 includes captain, chief medical officer, chief science officer, chief engineer, and a chief security tactical officer. There are eight junior grade officers, two in science, two in security tactical, two in engineering, one in medicine and one in communications. The remaining 32 crew are 16 ensign and 16 enlisted. A typical duty shift requires 15, six bridge crew including a commanding officer, helmsman, navigator, science officer, communications officer, and a security tactical officer, as well as four crew on duty in engineering, two in sick bay, a crew member in the galley and two science specialists who alternate between science labs and bridge stations of science two and mission operations. In times of conflict I imagine these vessels were pressed into service similar to the Liberty ships of World War II, being quickly and easily constructed and numerous in production due to their reduced scale and simplified form. A tactical variant of the Sparrow class has lab equipment replaced with auxiliary generators to augment shields and phaser banks. The forward beacon and probe launch tube is refitted to fire photon torpedoes. The aft airlocks and adjacent fabrication bays are refitted as rear firing photon torpedo launch tubes. Would you like to know more? Additional info on the ship's layout capabilities and crew is available in the description. If you enjoyed this tour consider subscribing. You'll know when an update has been shared. Thanks everyone for tuning in. See you out there.